I'm joined now by Danielle and Jesse of Trinity United and Cork City as we look forward to the start of the WNL 2022 season. Jesse, Trinity United, a young side, but you're definitely looking to be competitive this year. Yeah, to be fair to all the girls, they train well and they have such a good attitude, even though we're a young side, but I think we can use that to our advantage and really work hard and try push on this season. And of course, Cork are looking to do the same. Um, how do you think you'll fare this year against a new competitive league and even with a new team in Sligo Rovers? Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We have um, a few new signings this year, so it's really exciting and everyone's looking forward to the season ahead. And especially towards the end of last year, I think, Danielle, there was a real um, incline in terms of support. You guys setting the record attendance, of course. Um, what was that like and are you looking to see it continue um, in this season? Yeah, it was unreal. Um, it was such a good experience for us to see all the support out and we're hoping that it'll continue into this season as well. And the same goes for Trinity United, I'd say, Jesse. You were one of the standout players last year, I think it's fair to say. Um, what are you looking to achieve this season with Trinity United? We just want to work really hard together now and try to um, get a result in every game and just keep pushing on and just keep giving every team a game. And obviously a huge loss to Jenna Slattery, but we have young players in who are really eager and work really hard. And I think that'll be the main thing, just having a good attitude and working hard this year to push on. Well, we're looking forward to the start of the league anyways. Um, we're counting down to the kickoff.